Let's make pizza stuffed peppers. The first thing I'm going to do is take this bell pepper and cut the top off and remove all the insides. Get rid of all the seeds and all the membranes inside. And I have five of them here in my baking dish. Um, I chose them at the grocery store. Every one of them pretty much sits up. If they don't sit up, you need to uh, you know, take a little piece off for, and help them stand up. It, it, it does matter somewhat. Take a piece of aluminum foil. And I'm going to bake these just like this in a 350 degree oven. I'm going to add some olive oil to my pan uh, while the uh, bell peppers were in the oven I chopped my vegetables I'm going to add six ounces of mushrooms uh, the full recipe will be under the video in the description so let's cook these up a bit mushrooms have cooked down a bit they're getting brown I'm going to add those green bell pepper tops add about a half I mean about one cup of onion they're about you know it doesn't have to be a, a whole cup or anything very uh, flexible this recipe and add some salt this is coarse coarsely ground salt that's why you see it that's why people think I'm adding so much salt. I'm cook this up just a bit. I'm going to add 12 ounces of ground beef. You could use uh, Italian sausage instead. That would be very good. I just didn't have any. I'm going to season the ground beef with two teaspoons garlic powder, two teaspoons Italian seasoning, a half a teaspoon of half a teaspoon fennel seeds. I like fennel but I don't love it. So just some in there which will make it taste more like Italian uh, sausage. And a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And a bit more salt and let's cook this up. Next I'm going to add some pizza sauce. I love this brand. Of course you can make your own pizza sauce and I have before. But I'm just going to make it more easy with this wonderful brand Stir that in. I'm also going to stir in about half a cup of pepperoni that I chopped up a little bit. Just let this cook for a, a minute or two. It's been a minute. I'm going to add uh, half a cup of Parmesan. Stir this in. I'm going to turn the heat off and we'll stuff our peppers. Well, these baked about 35 minutes and I took them out of the oven and left the aluminum foil on. They're cool enough to handle. We need to dump out all the juice, all the water in there and sprinkle them with salt. Every one of them sprinkle them with salt. While I have all these filled, now I just need to put them in my 350 degree oven. 
these have been baking 20 minutes at 350 they're almost starting to bubble let's add some cheese on top some mozzarella to make these just excellent just like that and let's put these back into the 350 oven here it is out of the oven it baked another 20 minutes I wanted to put a little bit of crust brown spots on the uh, peppers and let this cool down a bit and let's have a bite let's have a taste you can see the filling inside the pepperoni it looks wonderful it smells wonderful mmm that is good the only thing I would change is a little bit more spice in it I think you know a little more uh, spicy heat would make it really really good but it's quite good this way too thank you so much for watching